this is Mrs. Kella, your science teacher. Welcome to Science Grade 4. Today, we will have the beneficial and harmful interactions among living things. As you can see in the picture, there is a butterfly and the flower. The butterfly sips the nectar of the flower, and the flower undergo pollination because the pollen is transferred by the butterfly to other flowers as it flew. And in this picture, both living organisms are benefited, and their relationship is called mutualism. In the picture, there is a bird's nest on a branch of a tree. The branch of a tree serves as a shelter for the hatchling. And in this picture, only the bird benefits. The nest on the branch does not affect the tree. And in this picture, only one organism benefits while the other one, which is the tree, is not harmed nor affected. And this relationship is called commensalism. In this picture, the bird benefited because the worm serves as its food. And the bird is the predator because it is the bird who benefits. And the one who is harmed is the worm is called prey. And the relationship is called predation or predator-prey relationship in which one is benefited while the other is harmed or badly affected. You can see in the picture that the tick is sipping the blood of the dog. In this picture, the tick is the one that benefits and the dog may get bacteria due to the bite of the tick. And their relationship is called parasitism because one organism, which is the parasite, lives on or inside another organism. So just like the tick, it lives on the body of the dog. And the dog is the one that is harmed. And it is where the parasite lives. So the dog is the host. And the parasite is the organism that benefits which is the tick. Pechay A were planted directly to the soil, while Pechay B were planted on a pot. Of course, Pechay A will get enough nutrients. In this relationship, it is called competition because the Pechay strive for the same resources in the same place. And Pechay A gets enough nutrients because the soil is too large for them, while in Pechay B, there is limited soil. Don't forget that organisms interact with one another for food, for protection, and for shelter. And the different interactions in this lesson were mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, predation, and competition. And interactions among organisms may result to beneficial or harmful effects. Thank you!